Hi. Picture a geometric series meeting a spiral trajectory. Two different visuals, one shared mystery. Today, let's understand how geometry's intuition helps us unravel the mysterious world of complex numbers and provides intuition to navigate the world. Nikhil walks a distance of 10 meters towards north. He then walks half of the previous distance after turning by an angle of 60 degrees counterclockwise. He then repeats this process forever. What is Nikhil's final position with respect to his starting point? Let's start with the geometric solution to the question. We solve the question in a general way by taking the common ratio to be r and the angle rotated to be alpha to be theta. Let's start by marking the points on the trajectory and also the limiting point and joining the limiting point p infinity to all the various points. Now let's scale this by a factor of r rotated by an angle of theta and shifted so that p0 dash coincides with p1. Observe that due to the cell similar nature of the figure, there is a perfect match. That is, p2 coincides with p1 dash, p3 coincides with p2 dash and so on. Right. Now let's start marking various distances on the figure. We have p0 p infinity equals d, p1 p infinity equals dr and p0 p1 to be a. Observe that p infinity and p infinity dash, the limiting points of the two figures coincide with each other. Also observe that the ith point of the original figure will be equal to the i minus one point or the i point of the new figure will be the i plus one point of the old figure. Also combining these two we get p i plus one p infinity equals p i dash p infinity dash. What is p i dash p infinity dash? It is simply r times p i p infinity due to the way in which we have scaled the figure. Comparing the third and fourth equation, we get p i plus 1 p infinity equals r times p i p infinity and thus we get p i p infinity to form a geometric series with initial term d which is p naught p infinity and common ratio r which is given in the question. Let's move on to some angles. We emphasize on the similarity once again of the various triangles. For example, P infinity P0 P1 is similar to P infinity P1 P2. Observe that the angle theta will also be equal to P0 P infinity P1 due to the exterior angle triangle property in the triangle P0 P1 P infinity P1. Right. Now let's apply sine rule on the triangle. We get alpha equals tan inverse of r sin theta by 1 minus r cos theta from this. We also have another side to the sine rule which is by comparing the angles p infinity and p naught. Applying this we get the other equation which is sin alpha by dr equals sin theta by a which gives d in terms of alpha and theta. Right. Now we have alpha in terms of theta and r which are known and d in terms of alpha, theta and r which are also known and a which, are, which is known. So plugging in the values of a, theta and r we get the value of the final location to be 11.55 meters to the starting point at an angle of 30 degrees left of north. This concludes the geometric approach. Let's move on to the complex number approach. Okay. Let the position of nickel after n steps be p of n and the displacement at the n step be d of n. The initial position in the argon plane will be 0. The first displacement will be 10. The second displacement will be 10 e power i pi by 3. And summing up all these pi by 3 displacements, the nth displacement will be e power i n minus 1 pi by 3 times d of n minus 1 by 2. 
the net displacement will obviously be the sum of all these displacements which will be equal to 10 plus 10 e power i pi by 3 by 2 plus so on which if we add to the initial position 0 will give you p infinity let's take a closer look at the sum we have this infinite gp which we can apply the formula for a by 1 minus l that is and simplifying this we get the value of z right after all this tricky algebra we get z equals 20 by root 3 e power i by by 6 what does this mean this essentially means that nickel is at a distance of 20 by root 3 11.55 meters from the starting point at an angle of 30 degrees left of north this agrees with our previous solution and concludes the proof uh, concludes the problem one final thought it's interesting to see how the final position of nickel changes as we change the ratio of the successive displacement he moves by. In some cases, nickel's motion might be periodic or nickel might even spiral off into infinity. This coincides with the notion of convergence of a complex geometric series.